Clax is more than an axe. The Clax is a multi-tool built into the head of an axe. It has a lot of useful features. Built-in carabiner, jimping for your thumb to hold on to, bottle opener, gut hook, axe blade which doubles as a new knife, the knife blade, lanyard hole, hammer with a built-in ruler, five wrenches, and a hex bit dryer. The Clax has a lot of useful features like wrenches, hammerhead, and knife blade, along with our innovative new clamping system that allows you to take the axe to the field and be able to break it down for easy transport. The Clax is useful for people who are involved in hiking, climbing, camping, survival experts, people who do bushcraft, all sorts of things, including emergency preparedness. This is the Firewater Aegis. It's going to be available in three different colors. We have the digital camo, the black, and the desert camo. Come down here, and these are the components of the kit themselves. First of all, we have a single edge razor blade. It's a secondary device also used to make the spark with the fire starter. Eight inches of jute twine, which can be used for tinder. There's a one foot nylon cord used as a lanyard for the fire starter and the hacksaw blade. The hacksaw blade will be used as a striker as well and also to shave your magnesium off to start your fire. This is my handmade ember, which is a fire starter, magnesium handle with a ferrosium rod stick on the outside. Then we go over to the cup. This is how we purify our water. It's a collapsible stainless steel 75 milliliter cup pre-drilled with holes and it comes with this wire as a boom used to hang it over your fire and you can boil water purifying it for your use. Also, I have two feet of stainless steel wire that can be used for snares, trapping, or just to hang your cup over the fire. Over here, we have our fishing kit. Fishing kit includes eight pound test fishing line, one cork, which can be used as a bobber. It's pre-drilled for use, a number six fishing hook, and a number four fishing hook. As well, I've included two fishing weights. And in addition, I have a coffee filter with printed waterproof instructions for use of all the kit. You can also use that to get sediment out of your water before you put it in your
The Sawyer Mini is the most versatile personal filtration system available. It's the perfect solution for backpacking, hiking, hunting, fishing, scouting, international travel, and emergency preparedness. At a mere two ounces, the Mini fits in the palm of your hand and can filter up to 100,000 gallons of water from any freshwater lake, river, or stream. The Sawyer Mini has a 0.1 micron absolute pore size. It was tested to 10 million parts of bacteria and a million parts of protozoa without a single breakthrough. This is the highest level filters can be tested to, so we're confident these are the highest rates of filtration available. The Sawyer Mini will remove harmful bacteria and protozoa like Giardia and Cryptosporidium, but it won't remove chemicals or viruses. However, viruses are rarely found in the water in North America and in foreign cities. The Mini can be used the following ways. Attach it to a Sawyer squeeze pouch and drink directly from the filter or dispense into a water bottle. Use it as a personal drinking straw to drink directly from the source or scoop up a bottle of water and drink instantly. The Mini screws directly on the most standard water bottles, which is great for suspect water overseas. Use it inline on a hydration pack. This allows you to fill your hydration pack directly from the source and filter water as you're drinking through the bite valve. Sawyer filters are so robust, they can be backwashed with high pressures and reused over and over again. Cleaning the Sawyer Mini is really simple. You just take the included cleaning plunger and fill it up with some filtered water. Then take the mini and insert the tip of the plunger into the end of the filter opposite of the flow arrow. Then forcefully push the water back through the mini. You repeat this process a couple times until the water comes through clear and easy and you have a clean filter.
This 5Joy portable multifunction backcountry rescue shovel really does it all. It can be a shovel, morph into an axe, is equipped with a knife, flint, bottle opener, and more. The multifunction shovel measures 47.8 centimeters by 11.5 centimeters by 14 centimeters, which makes it very portable and it weighs 0.64 kilograms. The shovel head and handles are made from quality materials. You get aerospace grade aluminum handles and there's even foam padding for grip and comfort. The shovel head is made from imported high carbon stainless steel with a hardness scale of HRC 50 to 52. There's an image of climbers scaling a mountain, which is a cool design, as well as a measurement table in centimeters here, and a saw tool next to that which is great for sawing off branches when you need to. On this edge is a blade for slicing up food and other items. It's also for chopping when you need the axe function. The axe blade is great for collecting firewood or if you need to remove a dead tree. The point of the shovel head can be used as an auto emergency hammer in case you're trapped in your car and you need an escape plan. You can also use the back of the shovel head as a hammer tool. It's great for hammering down a tent stake when you're ready for camping. This multifunction shovel comes with a seven strand paracord. You can slip the paracord over your arm so it frees up your hands for another task or use it for bundling and packing. The paracord is connected to the end handle. Twist it to the left and remove this piece of the shovel. Then remove the end handle from the magnesium rod and whistle. The rod is used for flint in case you need to make a fire. Be sure to scale off the black antioxidation coating on the rod first. The whistle can really come in handy in dangerous situations. The next part to unfasten is the tactical knife. There's a smooth cutting edge and a bottle opener next to that, as well as dual serrated blades on the other side. Right now, the shovel handle and head are at a 180 degree angle. You can choose to completely remove the shovel handle from the head or simply loosen it to adjust the multifunction shovel to act as other tools. Once the handle is loose, make sure the washer isn't touching the locking points. Then angle the handle downwards until the washer can lock onto the points at the 85 degree angle. This angle will turn the shovel into a hoe. The last angle at 30 degrees will turn the hoe into a hook. Once you have set the desired angle, tighten the handle back up. There's even a hole for a wire cutter here. When you're ready to pack the shovel up and take it on the road or neatly store it away, detach the end handle with magnesium rod and whistle and tactical knife from the other handle that's connected to the shovel head. Be sure to slide the protective cover over the tactical knife so you don't cut yourself. Next, slip the shovel head into its own protective sleeve and secure the Velcro straps into place. There's also a Velcro handle on the back of this cover and the blade pouch is made of stiff and durable material. Twist the shovel handle to the left until it's loose enough to be angled, so it's parallel with the shovel head. Then place the shovel pieces inside the individual pockets of the included carry bag. Velcro the bag shut and buckle it so nothing will fall out. On the back of the bag are two Velcro straps just like the one on the back of the shovel sleeve. There are also two plastic loops for attaching a shoulder strap. Hook the strap onto the carry bag like this on both sides, and you can even adjust the length of the strap for your comfort preference.